we go about using IMAP, using modern authentication and um, use that access token that we get from Azure AD to um, authenticate and read emails from the user's mailbox. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, what you need to do is uh, register an application on Azure AD. So if you're only concerned about registering application and getting the access token, we already have another video on it. Uh, you can check the link in the description below. Um, for now, let's create a sample IMAP application. OK, uh, using OAuth. So I'll keep this setting as default. I'll click on register. All right, so this sample has uh, sample app has been created. Um, I now I need you to go ahead and download this code from this GitHub repository. I'll paste this link in the description below. So I'll click on cl download and yeah. So I have this file downloaded. I'll uh, just click on extract. All right, so we have extracted this file. I'll open this file in Visual Studio. So to mind you, this this code sample is in C sharp language using .NET. All right, uh, so this app is opening right now. Meanwhile, I'll uh, create the credentials which are needed. So what I need to do is uh, go to the certificates and secret section of the app and create a new client secret. Uh, I'll click on. I'll give a sample value over here. You can uh, give any value. Just click on add. Uh, so the secret value is here. You need to keep a note of it uh, since this is displayed only once. Um, I'll take a note of it. OK, so I've taken a note of it and then you need to go to the API permission section. I'll click on add permission. Select APIs in my organization. Uh, type in office. Select Office 365 Exchange Online. Application permission. Uh, type in IMAP. Uh, and there you go. I'll select IMAP. Click on add permission. And the permission has been added so once the permission has added uh, click on grant admin consent and we have the admin consent as well all right so now we are good to go uh, go back to the app which is open in visual studio i'll open program.cs so there are a few values that uh, we need to replace in program.cs the first value being is uh, the client id and client secret so let me find those variables. Uh, yeah, there you go. So I need to copy the client ID from the app. Uh, I'll go to overview section. I'll copy the client ID and paste it over here. Now I need to copy the client secret that we did in the notepad. Uh, I'll copy and paste the client secret as well. Um, as a scope, I need to keep it as it is. It is outlook.office.com. IMAP access as user. And then I need to paste in my tenant ID. So I'll paste in my tenant ID over here. Okay, once I have that, um, I can move forward. Apart from that, I guess uh, I'll need the redirect URL, so I'll paste this redirect URL. You need to go back to the authentication section of the app. Click on add platform, select web and paste in the. Redirect URL. All right. Now I think we are good to call this app. Um, okay, it looks like it needs some dependencies. Uh, it it does need a lot of dependencies. Let me check. Oh, 
let me check this uh, dependency. I'll click on write and manage to get package. I'll click on browse. Okay. Right. Hopefully this will solve our error. Okay, the error has been gone. And I think we are good to call. All right. Let's do this and call the IMAP function. A console would open up. So I think this is going to use the delegated application permission. And uh, we are using the client credential uh, permission in the app. So I think there is another change that we need to do before uh, we sign in here. Okay, so here you need to go to API permission section. Click on add permission. Okay, so it is going to sign in via browser. So you need to go to the Microsoft Graph, delegated permission, and select IMAP as the permission here. And select IMAP access as users. Click on uh, add, and I think, yeah, that is added. So this is the permission that we need. This is the other permission if you are using the client credential code flow. Okay. All right. For now, we need, uh, we need this permission. So now I go back to the console. I'll click on key. It is redirecting. It will ask me for my login credentials. I'll enter that um, on Microsoft.com. All right. This app would like to read and write access to your mail. Click on accept. OK, so we got authorization code. We got the access token. And there you go. Uh, we are getting each and every mail from the mailbox. So right now I have created a for loop. Uh, it is giving me top five mails uh, because that is the code that I have written. And uh, yeah, it says I have 793 mails in my inbox. All right. OK, then uh, that's all for today. I'll paste this the link to this code in the chat. And uh, if you have any other questions or would you like me to uh, explain this code to you, please feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to do that. Uh, thank you.